Hi. Um, so we've got the Droid Incredible. We're going to talk about what to do if uh, your phone starts to give you trouble. If it starts to, uh, you know, like get froze. Um, things start to just not work right. So the first thing that you do, um, anytime that really anything goes wrong with your smartphone, is you want to turn it off. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Hold the top button there until you have the sub menu come up. And one of the menu options is power off. We're going to select that. Phone is going to turn off. Once it's turned off, then we're going to pull the battery out. And you really need to let it set uh, out of the phone for at least 30 seconds. All right, so we get the droid sign. And that's coming back on for some reason. So on the phone, if you pull this down, and it's going to come off like that. This tag right here, you can kind of see it. If you pull that, that'll actually let the battery come out. All right, so now the battery is out. A couple of things while we have the battery out that we're going to look at. Um, in here, you can see this is your SD card. If you ever need to pull your SD card out, uh, mine came in better with a 16 gig. They've changed that now. A lot of the phones are coming with 2 gigs. But this is your SD card slot. If they ever ask you for your serial number, you can see it right here. At the very bottom, it says MEID HEX. It's an A followed by a lot of zeros. Uh, that's your serial number of your phone. So if they ever ask you for that, that's how to find it. So again, memory card, serial number. Um, pretty straightforward. So it's been about 30 seconds. It's going to put it back together. The main thing to remember when you're putting it back together is this is your battery. It's got the metal contacts right here. And you can see on your phone the same metal contacts right there. So we're going to line these up. Okay. And then you can see your phone actually has got a little thing right there that needs the battery, you can see it's right there on the cover. It needs to be on there. So we'll put that on and slide it up to lock it. And then this button on top, we're going to hold this until we see activity come on. We get the Motorola bat wings. And then we're almost all set. Um, all we have to do now is let it come all the way back on. And then we're going to just reinforce the initial programming. Um, we're going to let it come all the way on here. This is really your standard startup. Doing this doesn't erase anything. That's the big thing to remember. You don't erase anything, but it just really, just kind of like your computer, you have to turn it off and then turn it back on every now and then. You gotta have to do that with your phone. Your phone's really a computer. All right, so we've got. We're gonna unlock it. Down here is the phone icon. We're gonna touch the phone. That'll bring up our phone dialer. We're gonna hit star two two eight nine nine, and then hit send or call. Huh, it didn't do it. See, I needed to do it myself. Oh, there it goes. All right, it just took it a second. <laughs> All right, so let's put it on speaker. We're going to hear some music playing there that lets us know it's re at activating. Okay, so it says your phone is now activated. And again, that didn't erase anything. Uh, it didn't really mess with your phone at all. It just simply reinforce the initial programming. So, but next at the bottom there goes back to your home screen and you should notice that your phone is now as snappy as it was originally. Alright, so again my name is Saul. If you have any questions or any anything going wrong with your phone just email me and I'll uh, try and help you out. Alright, thanks.